Welcome to example 1. So in the figure given over here, we have a right angled triangle ABC where sine theta is equals to half. So since sine theta is equals to half, this side which is the opposite is 1 and this side over here which is the hypotenuse has got to be 2. Okay, because sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So the first step would be to find, okay, the first step would be to find side AB. So by Pythagoras theorem, AB is equals to the square root of 2 square minus 1 square, which is just the root of 3. Okay, so over here is root 3. So without using the calculator, find cosine theta and tangent theta. Okay, so cosine theta is defined as adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, so let's, let us identify. So over here, with respect to theta, this would be my adjacent, this would be the opposite, and this would be the hypotenuse. So cosine theta is simply root 3 over 2. Next, tangent theta is defined as opposite over adjacent. Okay, and since opposite is 1 and adjacent is root 3, okay, tangent theta is 1 over root 3. But take note that we're not done yet. We need to rationalize the denominator by multiplying root 3 in the numerator as well as the denominator. And this will just give me root 3 over 3. Hi, right, welcome to example 2. We are given that cosine theta is equals to 2 thirds where theta is acute. So let us first find side A as you can see over here. So with respect to theta, this would be my adjacent, this would be my opposite, and this would be my hypotenuse. To find A, to, we will use Pythagoras theorem. So by Pythagoras theorem, A is equals to the square root of 3 square minus 2 square, which is simply the root of 5. Okay, so the question says that fine, without using a calculator, the value of sine theta multiplied by cosine 90 degrees minus theta. Okay, so the formula that we will use to help us solve this question is this one over here, as you can see on the top of the screen. So cosine 90 degrees minus theta is equal to sine theta. So therefore, we can write this as sine theta multiplied by sine theta, which is simply sine square theta or sine theta square. Okay, so going back to our diagram, sine theta is defined as opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, so we have opposite, which is root 5 over hypotenuse squared. Okay, and squaring this, we'll just get 5 over 9. Next, in practice 1, the right angle triangle ABC has the ratio tangent theta equals to half. So with respect to theta, this side will be my opposite, this side will be my adjacent, and this side will be my hypotenuse. Okay, and since tangent theta is defined as opposite over adjacent, this side will be 1, this side will be 2. Okay, so let us first find side AC. So by Pythagoras theorem, AC is equals to the square root of 2 square plus 1 square, which is simply the root of 5. Okay, now without using the calculator, find sine theta and cosine theta. So sine theta is given as opposite over hypotenuse, which is just 1 over root of 5. Next, cosine theta is given as adjacent over hypotenuse, which is just 2 over root of 5. In the last part of the question, it says thus find the value of sine 90 degrees minus theta multiplied by cosine 90 degrees minus theta. So sine of 90 degrees minus theta 
multiplied by cosine of 90 degrees theta can be converted to cosine theta multiplied by sine theta. Okay, so take note that I'm using the formulas on the top of your screen. So sine of 90 degrees minus theta is cosine theta and the cosine of 90 degrees minus theta is sine theta. Okay, now let us sub in our values which we found in the previous part of the question. So this is just 2 over root 5 and this is just 1 over root 5. Okay, simplifying this, we will just get 2 over the root of 5. Sorry, 2 over 5.